Today, I am English cowboying it. I am at the old Marlboro Ranch in Montana, where I am testing the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer L to find out if this is a new American luxury. They have grown by 12 inches to give Americans the perfect adventure vehicle in style. Now, the Grand Wagoneer L has a beautiful and luxurious front grille. You can see a lot of the front grille is laser etched. It is finished very nicely and looks like it's luxurious. This very nice silver grille with the black inlays here at the front. Of course, it's seven slat, which makes sure that you know it's part of the Jeep family. Now, notice the shape of the front of this vehicle. It has this shark nose front end where actually the top of the front end comes out further than the bottom uh, just like you would see in a shark itself where the nose comes out further at the front so does this now laser etched wagoneer name on the top here it has this copper color around the outside now a big bold grill all the way around the front you have your led lights at the bottom here let's come around the side nice big wheels Talking to the Wagoneer designers, one thing that they wanted was every time you looked at this car, they wanted you to discover something new about Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. So every time you walked around the vehicle, there should be another discovery about the design of the vehicle. American flag as a nod to our servicemen and women here at the end of the Wagoneer name, a nice, piece of bezeling across the bottom of the doors here and of course if you open the door it has this fold out step to help you get in and out of the vehicle the only place you'll see jeep in the vehicle written at all is here at the bottom of the mirrors as we begin this piece of chrome which goes along the bottom of the daylight opening space now i want to spend a little time on interior design because this has been very specifically designed very much like you would see a house uh, beautifully designed um, and take a second here in Montana of course you're gonna see lots of wildlife there are cows here wandering on the road this vehicle is not just about what catches the eye but the design here is about what catches the tactile responses as well of the fingertips so everything has been designed on the plane of longitude uh, it's wide it's spacious it has been designed on the shape of a wing as a wide open space and the designers have stretched everything out they want you to feel spacious on the inside of both the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer this of course is America's third luxury brand this vehicle is beautiful it is nicely crafted it is artisan you will notice leather you will notice double stitching you will notice attention to detail look at how everything is put together the actual words grand wagoneer are laser etched metal inside the wood along the dash the passenger screen on the right you cannot see that screen inside the piano black unless it's illuminated it disappears the infotainment screen if it is not illuminated disappears inside the piano black here in the center stack so there's a sort of a marriage of metal leather wood sound feeling come together on the interior of the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer from simple and usable in the Wagoneer to comforting plush and luxury on the Grand Wagoneer Let's talk about driving this vehicle and some of the um, other driving features of it. First of all, 
a new Hurricane engine, uh, two Hurricane engines actually. There is the Hurricane 510, which has 510 horsepower, a brand new engine for a Wagoneer and a Jeep. And then there is the plain Hurricane engine, which is everything but plain, uh, which has 420 horsepower. This vehicle actually improves fuel economy over the previous engines in this vehicle. And uh, by uh, up to five miles a gallon um, in the regular Hurricane engine and in the 510 up to two miles a gallon. Amazingly enough, that Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer rocketed to the number two spot in the first six months of this year after being released because Americans fell in love with this new luxury all-American brand. It was perfect for the all-American lifestyle and is the third luxury brand in America after a Cadillac and Lincoln and seems to fit perfectly with everything Americans wanted to do. Uh, three rows of artisan crafted luxury outdoor life. So we decided to do a little off-roading with the new Wagoneer and it's sort of what we would call more adventure lifestyling. This is what a family might be doing in forest roads, gravel roads, heading to a campsite. This, that is me showing you that the Grand Wagoneer is a vehicle you should own because it made mincemeat of that water ford crossing. These vehicles can do 30 inches of water crossing. Um, that is why they are the Grand Wagoneer and the Wagoneer, and they are superior to most of the competition because they are amazing vehicles. Now, jumping into the third row, there is actually the same legroom for the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. That's 36 inches back here, and that's loads of room. But the convenience of being back in the third row is what's really cool back here. Now, adjustments. There is electronic recliners here. That's right, you can put this seat into multiple positions, which is ever most comfortable for you, you can do that, plus a cup holder. Convenience, your kids may never get out of the third row. I'm Nick Miles.